morning everybody it's a lovely beautiful morning today and the sun is shining and i pray that jesus is shining in your hearts i just wanted to share a few things with you today it's not just going to be uh you know me sharing daily bring something in a minute but i just felt um ephesians 6 on my heart so i'm going to read that to you now it's ephesians 6 and um, verse 10 obviously the armor of god uh, finally be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armour of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but it's against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world and against spiritual forces of evil in heavenly realms. Therefore, Put on the full armour of God so that when the day of evil comes, you may be able to stand your ground. And after you have done everything to stand, stand firm then with a belt of truth buckled around your waist, with a breastplate of righteousness in place and with your feet fitted with the readiness that comes from the gospel of peace. In addition to all this, take up your shield of faith with which you can extinguish all the flaming arrows of the evil one. Take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, and pray in the spirit on all occasions and with all kinds of prayers and requests. And with this in mind, be alert and keep always keep on praying for all the saints. You know, Paul um, says in this passage, he refers to the sword of the spirit as an offensive weapon whereas the rest are used for defense so we have the sword of the spirit which is the word of the god which we can use as an offensive weapon against things that come against us you know obviously we see a roman soldier when we look at um the armor of god you know and in those days when they went to war they stood side by side their shields were locked together so each and every one were protected. Now, a lot of us at the moment, we're home and we got our slippers on to keep our feet nice and cosy. But no, we need to be prepared. We put on our spiritual shoes so that nothing can come on them. Don't forget, we have the power to stand on serpents and snakes and scorpions. So I just wanted to bring that to you and I would like to pray the armor of god on you all um at this time thank you so father we just come before you right now we thank you you have given us spiritual uh, weapons to stand against the enemy this time lord is a, a war that is unseen it is a, a power in the air but lord we don't receive that power and we stand in your power and your authority and we put on the armour that you have given us in your word. So Lord, I put on the helmet of salvation for all those that are worrying at this time and anxious and their mind and their thoughts are running away with them. Lord, we put that protection to protect their thoughts, their thinking, their dreams, they're speaking, they're hearing. Lord, that you protect them and know that they are a child of God standing in your salvation. And the breastplate of righteousness, Father, I thank you for that righteousness. It's not anything of us, it's all of you, but we stand in your righteousness. And that right breastplate of right, righteousness will extinguish all the fiery darts of the evil one. So Father, I thank you for that shield. And I place that on, our, on everyone that is listening to this right now. Lord, I thank you for the shoes of peace. Mighty God, we thank you that these shoes are there to walk and spread the gospel in peace and in love. But also, we have the authority to trample on serpents and scorpions and take up the authority as children of God to do that. The, the um, belt of truth. Lord, I thank you that this belt, it upholds the blessed bit of righteousness. And we stand in the truth of your word as an army of God, Lord. And I place that on right now. I make sure it's on firmly because it holds up that breastplate. And Lord, we thank you for the sword of the spirit, 
which is our offensive weapon when we go into battle. We declare your word against these things and we cut off anything that comes against us with a double-edged sword. Your word, Lord. We thank you for that. So, Lord, place that sword, this sword, Lord, in each and every person's hand. And, Lord, I thank you for the garment of praise. It doesn't mention it in your word, but, Lord, I thank you. We can place a garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that can come on people at this time and, Lord, worship you in spirit and in truth. So, Father, I just pray that your, your army, Lord, your army will go in your mighty strength today, regardless of what we're fighting. We can't see it. There's, there are unseen forces, regardless of viruses, that we need to just come on together as an army of God we may not be in the same room, but we can fight for our Lord and Jesus. So, Lord, I just pray a blessing on each and every person today in your name. Amen. Well, look at this. I just realised our daughter Becky and son-in-law Will bought this cushion for David well, quite a few years ago now. And I uh, thought, just thought I'd show it to you. It's quite apt, really. Keep calm and carry on. And that's what we need to do at this time, is to keep calm and carry on. So here's uh, Pastor Dave come in now, and he's going to uh, share his little okay. bit with you. Good morning. Good to see you again today. And uh, trust you being safe and uh, being blessed. So I just want to read from Psalm 8. Um this came to me very strongly when we had our trustee meeting uh, the other week, and it seems a, 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 nearly a week ago now. And we had to face some uh, pretty difficult decisions, etc. And we prayed at the beginning to ask the Lord to help us. And uh, Psalm 8 was what was on my heart, so I'll read it this morning. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens from the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise because of your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? You made him a little lower than the heavenly beings and crowned him with glory and honour. You made him ruler over the works of your hands, you put everything under his feet. All flocks and herds and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air and the fish of the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. O oh Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Good psalm to declare as the earth, the whole world is being affected at this time with uh, men's hearts failing them for fear and uh, nations really struggling to come to terms with this huge huge assault against their economies against their health systems um, it's good for us to declare today oh lord our lord how majestic is your name in all the earth now i just wanted to pick up on something from yesterday um it's it's a teaching from uh, our good friend uh, dr errol cook and um about the sign remember the strong sign of the red cord in the window with uh, rahab and uh, I, I was staggered when I, when I learned this from uh, Dr. Errol as she brought teaching on this on Joshua. Um, and the, the word to serve as a sign, a strong sign, it says, or a sure sign in the uh, New International Version. And she, she taught us this. I, I share this with you again today. I think I've shared it pre previously when we did our study of Joshua. The meaning of the word, a sign, taking the three letters, um, Aleph, Vav and Tav, the strong established sign. The letter Tav means sign of the covenant or sign of the cross. So the word Ot means the strong established sign of the covenant, which is the cross. However, the letters can also be seen in another way. The letter Aleph means strong leader. The letter Vav means a nail. And the letter Tav means a cross. 
So the sign for us is the strong leader nailed to the cross. How awesome is that? Mm. But also another meaning of Oat, O-H-T, is Aleph is the first letter and Tav is the last letter in the alphabet. And the letter Bav is also translated and. So the sign is the first and the last, the beginning and the end. So this sign must be Jesus. Just think of that today. Powerful, powerful teaching, huh? Bless me all those years ago when uh, I went to uh, Dr. Ewell's uh, Bible school in, in South Wales. So we pray today for all those who are really struggling and uh, believe that, you know, the peace of God will pass, surpass all human understanding as we put our trust and our faith in Jesus. He's the sign. He's the strong sign, the sure sign of our salvation as we put our trust in him. Do that today and be blessed. Uh, something that really blessed me this morning, which um, I'm going to post up um, after this recording, is something that came up um, on my Facebook feed from Brazil. And it's um, somebody starting to sing out <coughs> from their flat. Um, whether it was Sao Paulo, I don't know, but it was it was a whole host of other high-rise flats uh, in the local area. And uh, somebody was leading them sing um, a fabulous song, uh, Because He Lives, I Can Face Tomorrow. Because He Lives, All Fear Is Gone. And you can hear the crowds resounding, singing back. Um, it's so, so powerful. And I felt I was really moved by it this morning. And, you know, that's what happens when nearly half the population knows Jesus as their saviour. And sadly, we're in a nation now that with less than 4% of people believing. Um, mm. Wow. What would it be like? What will it be like when the Spirit of God starts to move in the hearts of men mm. like never before? People are asking questions. Be ready to give a hope, reason for the hope that you have. And uh, remember the verse before. Don't be afraid as they fear. Do not fear as they fear. Do not be afraid because you have a hope that is steadfast and sure. Be blessed today. Stay safe and we'll be in touch again tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye.